So now we have three gears. I took those two that were the same size and I stuck a smaller one in the middle to see what would happen. Again, we've got those three black bearing, sh bearing shafts and then we've got the three collars on them. Now again, turn this this way. We know that this second one is going the opposite way, but what's happening with that, this one over here, because this is the input, this is the output. This is what's going in, this is what's happening, coming out, the result. That's what we really care about. And we'll talk about what happens in between. So if we turn this counterclockwise, this one we know goes clockwise, goes the opposite. And then again, this one's going to go the opposite of the one next to it. So if we turn this counterclockwise, this one will also go counterclockwise. If we turn this clockwise, this one will go clockwise. And because these two are the same size, they'll go the same speed. So now we've got the same direction, our input and output are in the same direction, which is actually very useful if you don't have, don't have to think backwards. Like, okay, if I turn this backward, this way, this one will go the other way. So, now our question is, what happens if you use a bigger gear in the middle? 